Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Rising. Weekly tarot reading, November 4th to November 10th, 2019. And uh, bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card that is going to mark the topic of your week, that is going to be the Ace of Pentacles, followed by the second one, which stands for the challenges the Tarot is, off, uh, the tarot is showing that you have to overcome here, that is going to be the Ace of Wands. Third card, that it is the positive aspect of the week for you, that is going to be the King of Wands. And then the last one here, that stands for the guidance the Tarot is offering, we do have the World card. Interesting. All right, so uh, Ace of Pentacles, which is the very topic, is going to be catalyzed in your case with the Star card. Uh, that will be a difficult one. Mm. Okay, so we do have a, a passive enemies, first of all. And contrary to uh, the usual perception of uh, these two cards, uh, they actually are urging you not to stray away from your current path that you have chosen a couple of weeks ago, maybe, or a couple of months ago, or a, a year before. So simply, what those cards are saying it is that this week there are going to be a distractions in a sense of that things are going to tempt you around to kind of like um, abandon or forlorn your current endeavors, like the endeavors into your relationship, for example, or the endeavors into your career, and jump into certain newness that uh, it just appeared in your life. Now, because the star card, it is a catalyst to the Ace of uh, Pentacles, and actually it is a, not a very good combination because it points to the delusion that one may have for either lucrivity or happiness that they could uh, find into this newly found, um, into this newly found, how, to, how can I say it, into this newly found opportunity, let's say, all right, or in an option available. Now, as in a passive enemies, uh, those, uh, those two cards are pointing you not to walk away from, um, from difficulties or from slog, that is, because uh, it is likely that you are to find your current endeavor, like your current career, for example, or your current relationship, to enter in a certain slog. And that will be a, a further prerequisite for you to try something new, you know, to just kind of like uh, wash your mind a little bit, to, to occupy your mind with something else. But what you don't know, it is that exactly that this slog that you will need to overcome throughout the week will um, help you to 
um, kind of make progress into either career or relationship wise it will help you to stabilize your relationships it will help you to um, <clears throat> make bigger monetary success career wise and uh, ultimately uh, it will lead you to a certain stage of content, all right? It will lead you to a certain stage of happiness as well. So whatever you do, whatever you are doing at the start of the week, you should keep on doing it throughout the rest of the week instead of just forlorning it and jump into something else that may or may not happen. And even if it can happen, even if it can be productive, it's still going to require damn long time all right so you can't um, hope for a fast growth and fast success throughout this week but in my book at least is better to uh, bet on the secured slowed and steady progress rather than something that's it's not exactly formed yet uh, in the um in the void of the universe so the next one, it is the challenge itself. I pretty much touched on it. We do have the Ace of Wands and it is accompanied by the Nine of Wands. We do have a, an active uh, supporters here. And that is the opportunity itself, okay? That is this uh, gaining full enterprise, I would say, that is going to appear as a destruction in your uh, in your life. And the worst thing here about these two cards is that you are to take it as something that you really want, or this is what I want it, okay? But uh, challenging wise here, it is that you need to dwell on your extreme sense of patience, your extreme uh, sense of um, self-preservation. Because these two cards, guys, are pointing that danger is lurking somewhere along the way into this new enterprise, I mean. And should you charge in it without looking into the signs that the universe gives you, right? Um, one could very well charge toward their own destruction and you don't want to destroy what you have built for so long time, do you? That's uh, entirely up to you. So uh, if I have to give you an, an example, you know, maybe your current relationship is slogging at that particular stage and suddenly someone else appears that it is very cheerful, very passionate, you know, it, 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 it whispers in your ears the words that you want to hear. That is the, temp the temptation that you want to, that you need to resist, okay? And instead of throwing yourself into something that may or may not happen and destroying your current relationship, actually overcome the slog so, you know, you actually reach a, uh, a point of content and point of happiness as well. So uh, the next one uh, is going to be um, the positive aspect. And we do have the King of Wands accompanied with the Two of Cups. A very... That's very peculiar. So we do have an inactive enemies here. And uh, that, the, the only way that this fits in is a, a person of example. And um, person of example, meaning that, uh, that this is someone that never gives up, okay? And this is someone that uh, never whines about what kind of difficulties they are feeling. This is someone that always is able to extract or see the things in a positive light. Um, a type of person that says that whatever doesn't kill me, it makes me simply stronger. Someone that laughs in the face of, of danger, someone who is very proud of their achievements. Uh, now, it doesn't look like that this person is going to cooperate with you, but just being uh, serving you as an example is going to boost your determination very, very strongly. And actually, uh, this determination uh, based on that example is going to be transformed into a huge drive by your behalf. It's kind of saying, you know, you know what, that one did it. Am I worse than him or worse than her? I can do it as well. You know, this one had a problems in their family. They were able to, um, to overcome those problems so me and my wife can overcome them as well, right? This one faced troubles in their business. They squeezed their teeth 
and find a way through so I can find a way through too. So from one, um, from one point, uh, this reading may point that you have to give a final chance, you know, either to your career development or either to your marriage or relationship and so on and so forth. And uh, really put everything you got into it, kind of like uh, whatever you can into it, I would say. <clears throat> so uh, afterwards, you don't at least regret that you haven't explored everything you could into this um, into this variation of the future okay and so the last one it is uh, here the guidance which is uh, the uh, world card and that is going to be accompanied by the queen or kind of catalyzed here by the queen of swords we do have a passive enemies in this particular position and uh, the world and the Queen of Swords, it's also very difficult kind of a situation, a, a, um, a combination to be interpret. So um, these cards are pointing that you shouldn't be biased about um, your current state, your current endeavor. Whatever experiences you do had in the past, well, I would say that way, nothing is carved in stones, nothing is tossed in there. You definitely can improve the circumstances into your uh, plans that are slogging at that particular stage. It is just you don't have to um, accept them as, um, uh, as sealed, okay? You shouldn't uh, bias yourself that, you know, your relationship is slogging, so it will never going to improve. Your career is slogging, so it's never going to improve as well. Or your job is slogging, so you're never going to improve uh, as well. And, you know, it is better for me to try to find another job. It will, it will be better for you guys to try to make it work at least according to these cards, because you do have the necessary negative, that, that is the weird thing here, all right? You do have the necessary negative experience in the sense of that you do have a lessons learned back from the days that will allow you to, uh, to push the things through. And instead of seeking different perspective elsewhere, you can find a better perspective into your current plans that once again it took you so much so long time to develop to this stage and it will be a shame if you forlorn, forlorn them at that stage itself so that being said pisces this was your weekly tarot reading november 4th to november 10th 2019 hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other next time until then Bye.